Hello everybody, it is me, your artist, wait, Agent Wave Workers. Welcome back to another video. I'm so frustrated right now because I made a 12 minute video for you guys about the snowfall in the Midwest. And, or, sorry, snow for Christmas. And I accidentally deleted it and I was so mad and I worked so hard on it and now I gotta restart it. So guys, um, yeah, there's actually not just Northwest snowfall for Christmas, but maybe even the Midwest, parts of the Midwest. So let's check it out, and I'm going to try to inform you guys from my best knowledge where you guys can prepare for the storm, and just be careful. Um, yeah, so let me just look right now, you know, just some rain off the coast, and the, or the Gulf Coast, and parts of Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, scattered snowstorms in this area. But let's try to get closer when that snowstorm starts to start in parts of the Northwest. So 24 hours from now, so right as soon as this a day from now basically right now a day from now snowfall poss possible in the northwest such as northern washington northern idaho and maybe some snow just west of minneapolis um so gotta keep a right now we're 24 hours from now we're pretty good pretty clear off some snowfall very we're clear from heavy snowfall 36 hours this is when we got keep an eye on uh this is when the snow starts to pile up and as it goes overnight it gets colder and more snow you can see little band all the way to washington to northern uh sorry a band all the way to canada border to the north california it just misses seattle i wouldn't be surprised if seattle actually gets snow flurries because it's honestly super close to seattle right here seattle's like right there it's like super close um and it goes Prop very heavy snow for Central Oregon, like potential he very heavy snowfall, especially parts of Montana, just northeast or northwest of Helena. Forty-two hours, the storm starts to intensify more, but more to Montana and Idaho. Not really a Washington threat in forty-two hours. Still some snow flurries, a little band here, like right there on the line, little little band, but very heavy snowfall. For Idaho, very heavy, like the darkest blue right there. Um, and then you can see the snowfall goes all the way to the Canada border, all the way to Northern California, Northern Nevada. So very heavy snow. This is actually the 21st, so it is Friday. And then we go to 40, 48 hours. It starts to go more into eastern Montana, like for example here, eastern Montana and North Dakota have not seen snow in a while, but that's gonna change. Atlanta getting snow, northern Utah, Wyoming, Idaho getting some snow. More of the southeastern part of Idaho, not really the southwestern part. Oh, sorry. We are at 48, and then 54 hours. You can see it goes more into finally some snow from North Dakota, South Dakota, and western or eastern montana so finally some snow there 60 hours it goes gets quite heavy for parts of the north dakota south dakota same storm guys same storm here but the heavier amounts are in the darkest blue which are right here in central north dakota and then it moves on to probably parts of minneapolis right there parts of minneapolis getting some snow there but let's go near Christmas, see the 23rd, 84 hours from now, right after that storm left, another snowstorm comes for parts of Washington and Idaho. Keep a close eye on that, guys. 90 hours, starts to intensify as it goes on the another again, over 9 hours, intensifies because it is below freezing. Northern Washington all the way to Northern California, so it kind of looks like a C, but backwards of snowfall. So always Northern California to parts of British Columbia, Northern Washington, and then just nothing here, nothing just but rain that little area. So they're missing quite a lot of snow there. Ninety six hours it starts to leave just parts of Washington, uh, Montana, Idaho. One hundred and two hours. This is actually the these. This is actually Christmas Eve morning. So maybe e maybe even maybe December 23rd for the western is three hours behind so some snow for parts of Idaho Montana not really anything there the threat but 108 hours this is actually more of a morning threat for the morning commute areas all the way to northern Washington to 
northern Nevada. It was like you see the backward sea. Think about it that way. Backward sea. Very heavy snow for parts of Idaho, Montana. That darkest blue. And this could the the day like midday in December or Christmas Eve. So let's say you're having a party or anything, you're gonna have to watch out for travel all the way from central Nevada, a uh, heavier band heat in central Oregon. And also, if you're just in the coast in Seattle and Portland, still gotta watch out for flooding. Maybe some possible ice as it goes in again in the overnight hours and that rain freezes. Again, very heavy snow in that darkest blue in parts of Idaho, Montana. It goes very close to Las Vegas. Las Vegas is right here. It gets pretty close, but it gets closer as it gets to Christmas Day. This is the night, the night of Christmas Eve. So let's say you're having a party at night or you're leaving the party or anything. The whole state of Idaho is under snow at that area. Very heavy snow for southeastern Montana and Wyoming. Uh, northern Washington. California, Northern uh, Nevada, Salt Lake City, just just in that light snow area. Um, and then let's go to Christmas morning as people are waking up on Christmas morning. 132 hours from now. So let's say you're waking up, opening gifts, Salt Lake City, getting some snow, southwestern Wyoming, most of Idaho, north of Helena, uh, southern Oregon. Yeah, you're gonna be waking up with snow still falling on the ground, still snow on the ground and still falling. 138 midday. This let's go 144. This is actually midday for the uh Christmas day. More snow for Nevada and California. It starts to leave. Um. Oh, sorry. This is actually the 27th. Whoops, Daisy. The 25th, sorry, this is the 25th, midday. This is midday to Christmas, on Christmas. So there's still snow in parts of Nevada, Utah, Salt Lake City getting some snow, uh, maybe North Dakota, wait, sorry, North Dakota, all the way to parts of Washington getting some snow. So yeah, just a very, the country, most of the country will be having a white Christmas, just all the way from parts of the Northwest, all the way to parts of the Midwest. So you, just a big difference, maybe like about 2,000 miles. Just most of those areas into, within 2,000 miles of that is getting white Christmas. So let's go to the night. This is the last couple hours of Christmas night or Christmas day. Just a cup like. 15, 20 miles north of Las Vegas. That wouldn't surprise if Las Vegas actually got some snow flurries. Min Minneapolis getting some snow uh, on Christmas night. Uh, South Dakota getting some, quite some heavy snow, but you probably got to be asleep, probably just close to midnight. North Dakota, all the way to I Idaho getting some snow, some heavy snow in Utah, just south of Salt Lake City. So yeah, guys, just uh, this is what it's going to look like. Let's actually go to the models. See what it looks like all the way to Monday on Monday night or Christmas Day. So you can see this. It, you're probably thinking, wow, it's like a, it's like a, hold on. Let me scroll down. It's like a, a little band. If you see it right here of heavier, it's just a band of heavier snow. I'm trying to circle my best with the heavier snowfall. So look, this is a band with the mountain snow. This is what it looks like. The mountain snow, so that just it's not just a coincidence. It's meant to be like that because that's where the Sierra Mountains are, in the mountains of. Uh, that's just where the hell of heavier heavy, or the higher elevations will be. So that means you get he more snowfall. So that's not a coincidence if you're thinking about that. So let's just say Salt Lake City is getting about nine to seven inches. Just the whole state of Idaho is getting more than two inches of snow. Quite dangerous. If you're going shopping, this area just above two inches. So find your area. Here are the colors right here. Wait, sorry. Here are the colors of how many inches you'll be getting right there. I'm trying to do this my, my, the best with my mouse. God, it's quite hard. And then let's actually go to the Midwest now since they might be getting a snow threat. 
let's go all the way to Christmas Day. End of Christmas Day. End of Christmas Day, guys. Here, up to 8 inches in this area, all the way up to 9 in central Nebraska. Minneapolis can get up to an inch or so. Um, Green Bay, probably nothing. North, Northern North Dakota and Minnesota can get up to 3 inches of snow. Parts of just, just even Missouri can get up to 4 inches or so. Um, so yeah, just look in your area and see where you are. See how much snow you can be getting. Uh, it's quite dangerous, guys. Uh, South Dakota, just this area not getting snow. But all Minnesota is getting snow, except for the little areas in the circles. So yeah, guys, hope you guys like this vid. Oh, almost forgot about the National Weather Service, guys. So look, you see these little purple counties in parts of northern Washington. You can see them all over the place. Here, two counties. Uh, two counties here. One county here. Two counties here. In purple, that is winter storm advisories. They will have widespread warnings all the way just like this, probably by tomorrow night. They should have warnings all over the place because this is a big threat, up to two feet in areas of Sierra Mountains. Uh, like I said, maybe even nine inches in parts of Nebraska. So yeah, keep a close eye on this. Flood watches uh, for a lot of the country, or the eastern part of the country, all the way to Maine, to Virginia all the way to parts of the Florida to South, South Georgia. And I will probably do a video of the flood uh, threat. So, yes, stay tuned for that. So, and also, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for 285 subscribers in three weeks. That's amazing. Yeah, I couldn't have done it without your help. Um, if you want, and guys, I'm trying to get a 300. If you haven't already known, my goal is 300. And I'll do a shout-out video once I get past 300. And I'm 15 subscribers away. So it's currently 10 o'clock in my area, so two hours from tomorrow, uh, in Eastern time. So 26 hours, guys, till tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, can we please get to 300? So 26 hours, can we? I'm just asking for 15 subscribers. Let a friend know if they like weather. If just please, I'm trying to get to my goal, and I really want to be a big meteorologist one day. Um, to let you guys know with information, I'm trying to help you guys, so please get prepared for this storm, and hopefully we get to 300, and it would totally help, one person can totally change my channel, guys, so, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for instant notifications, thank you guys, bye.